Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for all the Sun, Moon and Rising Sagittarians. It is the um, the third quarter of the year 2017 and the energy for this quarter is going to be a water energy vibration and it's going to be the energy of the Hermit. So the energy of the Hermit is the overall energy for this quarter. But you, the Sagittarians, get the star. Okay, you Sagittarians are always getting wonderful positive energies. So you got the star for the third quartal. Okay, let's see, because the third quartal is coming down also to your birthday zodiac year of 2017. So this is going to be wonderful. So another time for a lot of people out there, this is really positive. Um, there is a situation which um, you have twice the magician in your reading you Sagittarians I don't know you guys are so lucky and you're not really realizing how lucky you are and how the planet of Jupiter is so vibrating with you guys okay because you have twice the energy vibration of the magician in your reading in this quarter twice okay you have your own energy vibration of strength coming up in the month of um, August so this is just going to be um, positive the wheel of fortune is coming and bringing a water sign person in your life this water sign per person is going to bring magic in your life um, so we have uh, um, hair water and fire we have here water and fire so it's the three most positive energy elements that you can have in this period okay it's going to be a wonderful beautiful experience for you guys as usual because uh, the love section is the ace of pentacles so this is just going to be wonderful so wow let's look at what's going on for you guys in the month of july as i've said the energy of the magician is here in the month of July and the six of Pentacles so the magician is going to bring gifts gifts in your life because the six of Pentacles is always gifts so the magician is as if it's going to bring you magical gifts small things coming in your life you will be given some will be some of you will be given and receiving and some of you the magicians are going to teach you how you're going to balance uh, the giving and receiving okay so this is going to be positive it's going to be positive a lot of people are going to give, receive give and receive little gifts and this is going to be a positive positive situation for you guys in the month of July the six of Pentacles is always given and receiving gifts so some people can be the giver some people can be the receiver in in the the love and the love vibration it's not going to be that positive there's going to be a lot of conflicts there's going to be people who are moving away um, there's going to be a jealousy the sort of a thing is going to be rumbling in your love life the sort of a thing that needs unbalance that comes with unbalanced energies uh, is going to be rumbling in your love life be aware of this in the month of July okay as we look at the month of August, we have the energy vibration of the lovers, which is very wonderful. It's powerful. The energy of the lovers is here, and your own energy vibration is also here. So, love is going to be and playing a significant part. So, for the people who, the month of July is going to be. Um, uh, um, love in the sense of uh, um, you, you in your personal life uh, relationships where it says marriage weddings uh, that sort of a thing people are going to ask you to move in together people want to connect with you and um, it's all about uh, you and someone else sharing that space uh, and sharing those intimate moments in the month of August so for the people who will be going on vacation expect to meet someone because meeting that person a lot of people are going to meet new people in their lives and it's going to connect uh, on a high energy vibration of love because the two two of cups is here and the energy vibration of love so this is all about you um, connecting in your personal life uh, in personal relationship if you are married and is in a stable relationship you're going to need to have inner strength whatsoever is going on 
uh, you're going to need to have inner strength when people go on vacation this is always the time that the women need to find the inner strength because the men eyes are always over the place so you women just stand up and just you know um, open up and just hold fast on what is happening and find the inner strength okay as I move on and I'm looking at September the wheel of fortune comes up for you guys in September which is so positive the wheel of fortune is here with wonderful energy vibration and the wheel of fortune brings the king of cups and the king of cups is a wonderful person to come in your life because he's very positive whenever they're working on the high energy vibration and not on the casting over sort of a thing they're very positive they're very hard-working people they're very um, they're people who connect uh, with certain aspect of themselves and connect with certain things of themselves which is so, so positive it's I can personally say that the king of cups is uh, um, they're beautiful people to be honest and um, they are here and they're entering your life and accept them as they come because they're going to bring you the sense of magic in the love arena they're going to bring you magic magical experience uh, they're going to connect with you and show you what true love is all about and with that you have uh, the star the energy of the star so these energy vibrations which are coming in they're so powerful they're so wonderful they're so in the sense of connecting to a place where you all are aware of how very positive certain aspect is going to be okay um a message good message is coming good message is coming for you Sagittarians uh, and you also have two four six eight ten of cups a good co family connection so you're getting a good message about um, family connection good family connection so be aware of this so whatsoever is happening you need to be aware that the situation that is happening around you it is going to be a good family connection that will be happening the Sun is also here okay as we move forward as I've already said love is going to be the most positive energy in um, this third period for you guys because whenever the ace of Pentacles comes up it is an healing and new beginnings for a lot and this is all about the love energy and it's a new healing and beginning for a lot of relationships as we move on and we're doing the energy of the conscious spirit and we have here the energy vibration of the healer I am loving and um, I am loving and compassionate and able to bring healing to others I am loving and compassionate and able to bring healing to others I am loving and compassionate and able to bring in healing to others I am loving and compassionate and able to bring in healings to others I'm loving and compassionate and able to bring in healings to other and this is wonderful because whenever you can heal someone else and bring in love and compassionate and forget all the stuff that has happened you are at a stage that you begin to heal we have from the unicorn cards the queen of unicorns the second time she's coming up she has come up before for another sign so obviously uh, the spiritual beings from the night dimension is here with me working with me um, whatever cards I always bring out in a readings that mean that is the message that should come out for you guys so the unicorns was here along with the ascendant master this is the third quarter so I always use very strong spiritual cards um, to hand the readings and the queen of the unicorn is here and she says you're blessed with love compassion and wisdom this is the second time I'm getting her reading because I have been doing this reading on the the 24th of May I'm doing these readings because it's a it's the energy that is a day when new energies came in and there's going to be a shift a huge shift okay and um, the unicorns the king and queen of unicorns come up so this is important that I give these message on this day 
the last card I have is the golden ray of Christ and I love this card whenever anything is happening blessing pour onto you when you choose this card of unconditional love the golden ray of Christ is held within the cosmic heart at the ninth dimension the angel angels ask you to invoke the love wisdom healing and protection of the golden ray of Christ and ask it to flow to you and surround you with its golden light when you carry this eye energy frequency in your aura you can relax and know um, you are totally safe remember to send the golden the golden ray of Christ to other people I am the golden ray of Christ I am the golden ray of Christ I am the golden ray of Christ okay this is a so positive remember um, the golden ray of Christ you know call upon the um, um, I now invoke the golden ray of Christ to fall, flow to me and surround me you know and say it three times whenever you're down deep depressed whatever is happening to you call upon the golden ray of Christ uh, for myself I haven't been doing this for the last time and yeah it is um, yeah, whenever you're stressed out is the best time to call upon the golden ray of Christ. This has been and will be a wonderful quarter for you Sagittarians. It has been a time when we are going to connect with a high energy vibration. I mean, you guys have the energy of the star but yet still the ace of um the ace of pentacles the star but yet still the ace of pentacles and this is very important that you realize how significant and how wonderful this is for you and how you are able to change certain aspects of yourself okay so i want to say please like share these videos and for the people who have been asking about donation you can always donate via paypal it's it's okay you know, um, uh, people always say, and I, I, I just said, you know, <laughs> a dollar can help someone else because it's just going to go to the poor. I'll just give it, you know, a dollar is going to help someone else. And I think we should all give because by giving, you're balancing, giving and receiving. So and when I say to each and every person out there, please like, share these videos, go back, listen to your sun, moon and rising sign and listen to the general readings because it's very important. There are certain aspects of the general readings that have a connection with your sun, moon and rising sign. And I want to say to each and every one out there, be kind to each other and I will speak to you next time. <music>